Hola, en este fragmento de la charla con Aaron Ross le pregunto un poquito sobre qué estrategias recomienda para onboardear, o sea, para, su, para entrenar a nuevos SDRs del equipo más en un contexto de pandemia, qué tipo de contenidos dar. Eh, nada, y como siempre me da una respuesta espectacular. Espero que te guste eh, y que la disfrutes. It's probably at least a couple months to ramp someone. Now, if you hire someone who's, who's had the job before, obviously it's different. They still need time to know the industry. So maybe it's a month. If it's someone who's brand new, who hasn't done sales, two to three months, um, depending on seniority and such. Um, it's not 30 days. So you have to make sure you give them some time. Really, if it's a good person that you, you if after 30 days, you should know, do you believe in them? And that, so you need, um, again, it's kind of like the, the industry and about the industry and the buyers, so they know how the business works. I so they should meet everyone, like, at least meet different people throughout the company. So you, they know how your company works, whether they can visit in person or their Zoom calls, talk to someone in engineering, talk to someone in support, talk to someone in marketing, partners, sales. So they have a, a broader picture of just how the company, how your own company works. Because they're trying to understand, um, you know, again, who are we selling to and what are we doing? And, So I think the fat, the thing that helps them ramp the fastest in any employee is just more conversations. Like the more they can listen to, especially conversations with customers, like a support conversation, a sales conversation, the more they can have their own conversations in with your own people or customers. But that's the thing that really helps speed up the ramp. And otherwise it's, again, pretty simple. It's like, who's the customer? What do they need? What do you do? Um, and then there's a lot of uh, like SDR tactics. I think people really focus on, of course it's important how you write an email, but just as important or more important is organization. How can you help the SDR stay organized and learn how they can get a system to know, okay, which accounts should I be working on when? Yeah. And how much of what should I do every day? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. The, So yeah, it's, um, you know, every, and everybody's different. I say like, there's a million cookbooks. But just because there's a million cookbooks doesn't mean there's a, you're going to find the cookbook that works right for you exactly from day one. And you kind of find your own system. There's a lot of information around what STR should do. Hopefully you need to, you can find those and look at them, but you still need to be willing to, especially if, if it's new to you, hire someone You know, yourself and them kind of work through, hey, let's try this. Let's kind of find our way through what system works for us. The kind of technology, the message, the market. Um, do we do mostly LinkedIn and a little bit of email calls? Is it mostly phone calls? Again, there's no single system that works for everyone. Um, so again, some people, some teams do better with lots of phone calls because their market does. Some people don't. So you have to be understand you have to kind of find your own way bueno, espero que te haya servido el fragmento de esta charla. Si querés ver la charla completa, ahora al final te va a aparecer un link para acceder. También te invito a que te suscribas a mi canal Primera Reunión, donde vas a poder encontrar las diferentes entrevistas o diferentes charlas con profesionales eh, que están encarando procesos, eh, estructurando procesos de venta B2B. Eh, y a su vez, en mi sitio, primerareunión.com, también vas a poder encontrar más contenido, eh, incluyendo una charla, por ejemplo, con Aaron Ross, eh, el autor de Predictable Revenue. Bueno, espero que te haya servido.